Today is a very happy day for Mother Africa. And I'm grateful to Almighty God for the opportunity to be a part of this landmark historic event, the commencement of trading of the African Continental Free Trade Area. In August last year, I handed over a state-of-the-art office building to the African Union Commission to serve as the head office of the Secretariat of the AFCFTA. This constituted a very significant implementation milestone in the operationalization of the AFCFTA. Following the AU's extraordinary summit held in the Republic of Niger on 7th July 2019, where Ghana was honored by her peers with the privilege of hosting the Secretariat. For many of us, past and present, who have waited patiently for this day. This ceremony represents an important step towards realizing the goal of continental integration. The manifestation of that enduring dream of the founding fathers of our union to create an economically integrated and sustainable continent capable of ending our dependency on foreign assistance and eradicating poverty by harnessing our considerable resources, human and natural, begins today. We're determined to enter into a new era of industrialization and access now to a single continental market will be a game changer on that journey, as it will be the key to the ability of businesses on the continent to recover from the adverse effects of COVID-19 and proceed to grow and leverage on the new opportunities available in the new market. Trading amongst ourselves will be duty-free and quota-free, and with a market of some 1.2 billion people and a combined GDP of some 3 trillion United States dollars, the AFCFTA will boost into African trade, stimulate investment and innovation, diversify exports, improve food security, foster structural transformation, enhance economic growth, and above all, provide jobs for the youth, as well as fresh impetus for African entrepreneurs. I'm confident that the private sector, if actively supported by government, is capable and willing to be at the vanguard of this transformation. For us in Ghana, we have embraced fully this partnership between government and the private sector to ensure maximum benefit is derived from the AFCFTA. Indeed, a series of public sensitization forums across all 16 regions of the country have been organized to update the private sector on the implementation of AFCFTA protocol the operational requirements for effective trading in the market and preparations for the start of trading. Public education will be intensified further after the start of trading. I'm hopeful that the state parties which are yet to submit their market access offer, that is the tariff liberalization schedules to the AU Secretariat would do so by the end of January 2021. This will ensure full access to AFCFTA trading by all state parties. In addition, all our standing issues related to the various AFCFTA operational instruments, which were launched at the 2019 AU Extraordinary Summit, should be finalized and made operational by the end of March 2021. These include the online platform for tariff negotiations, the Africa Trade Observatory, ATO, the digital payment and settlement systems, the online mechanism for reporting and monitoring of non-tariff barriers, the mobile application for AFCFTA business activities, the Mansa repository platform to serve as a centralized database for customer due diligence and the one billion United States dollar AFCFT adjustment facility to manage the adverse effects of revenue losses for selected countries. 
These instruments address potential challenges to effective trading and are critical in easing business transactions and trading under the single continental market framework. As recommended by the AFCFTA champion, the President of the Republic of Niger, His Excellency Mamadou Isifu, there is the expectation that by the end of March 2021, the AFCFTA unit operating out of the AU Commission in Addis Ababa will be moved to Accra to ensure the consolidation of all AFCFTA-related activities under the AFCFTA Secretariat. I commend highly our experts, ambassadors, and, and ministers of trade, the AFCFTA Secretariat, and the AU Commission for the quality of work accomplished thus far, which has enabled the implementation of the AFCFTA to proceed. We should not relent in our efforts in concluding all outstanding issues in the phase one negotiations to guarantee full implementation of the AFCFTA protocols by June 2021. In particular, I want to thank the AFCFTA champion, President Mohamed Isifu of the Republic of Niger, President Alpha Conde of the Republic of Guinea, President Paul Kagame of the Republic of Rwanda, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi of the Arab Republic of Egypt, and the current AU Chair, President Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa of the Republic of South Africa, for championing strongly the process of implementation on all our behalves. To the AU Commission, I appeal to them to fast-track the ongoing recruitment of staff for the AFCFTA Secretariat to enable the Secretariat to discharge its responsibilities efficiently and smoothly. I also want to reiterate the call made by the Assembly at the 13th Extraordinary Session on the AFCFTA to member states that have still not signed and ratified the agreement to do so as soon as possible in order to increase the size of the market and the volume of trade under the AFCFTA as well as fast-track the continental integration process to ensure that no one is left behind and we achieve the Africa we want. There is a new Africa emerging with a sense of urgency and purpose and an aspiration to become self-reliant and move the continent to a situation of self-sufficiency, progress and prosperity. In this regard, I assure this gathering of Ghana's unwavering commitment and dedication to the agenda of continental integration. We must succeed together and do so resoundingly for the benefit of current and future generations. I wish you a very prosperous and productive new year, a new dawn of trading and investment across Africa for Africans has just begun. May God bless Mother Africa and us all. I thank you for your attention.